All right, so we're gonna tackle round 11 now. This is where we do two new stitches, the right lifted increase and the left lifted increase. So we'll, we will be increasing stitches from the center out for our pillow to create the pillow shape. Then we do the petals, which involves a little decreasing, but that's not for a little while. Okay, so we're gonna start by looking at the pattern and reading in between those asterisks. It says, knit one, right lifted increase, knit six, left lifted increase, knit one. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you here. So first, we're still doing magic loop. I'm gonna knit one, and then I am going to do the right lifted increase. So to do this, we will be picking up a stitch from not this row, but this row. So one row down from back to front, just like, there it is, just like that. So it's that purl bump we just knit in the previous round. Pick it up from back to front and place it on my left needle like so, and then I'm gonna knit through the front of that stitch like I normally would if I was knitting a knit stitch. Okay, so that is the right lifted increase. I'm gonna show you it one more time again when we come to that portion of the pattern. All right, now I'm gonna knit six. Okay, now it's time for the left lifted increase. So for the left lifted increase, we're gonna go into the row, two rows down on the right needle. So not this row, this is the first row, but the second row, the second row. And we're going to pick up that pearl bump again that you see, but this time we're gonna use our left hand needle you can see it's right there from back to front. Don't want to grab the lurex. There we go. I think I got it. Yep. Just like that. I'm going to show you that one more time. It's, it's, it's a little tricky. So I'm going to, this is the second row down and I'm going to pick it up from back to front, just like that. And then I'm going to knit through the back Loop. I'm not going in through the front like we just did when we did the right lifted increase. I'm going through the back and I knit it. And that is your left lifted increase. So I'm going to show you that one more time for one more repeat. Okay, so if I start back at the beginning of the asterisk, it says knit one, right lifted increase. So for the right lifted increase, we'll be picking up the pearl bump that's one row down from our working needle on the left side. So I'm gonna pick it up just like this. There we go. I'm gonna place it on the needle. You should that one more time. Place it on the needle, and then I'm gonna knit through the front of that stitch, and that's the right lifted <laughs> increase. You can see it's right leaning too. Okay, and then I knit six. One, two, three, four, five, Six. All right, now we're at the left lifted increase. So we're gonna go pick up a stitch that is two rows down from our right needle. So one, two, we're gonna pick up this pearl bump here from back to front. Just like that, place it on our left needle. And then we're gonna knit through the back of that stitch like that. That's your left lifted increase. Final stitch of the repeat is knit one. Okay, so those are the stitches you need to know to complete round 11. I know you can do it. 
it's not that hard, you'll get the swing of it. And those are all the stitches you need to complete the circle portion of your pattern. So we've gone through um, slip one purl wise with yarn in back, the right lifted increase and the left lifted increase. Everything else, you know it's knit or purl, so you should be good to go. I wanna encourage you to check your stitch count at the end of every round. We've given you the stitch counts on a lot of the rounds here. It looks like all the odd rounds. So please go ahead and check those stitch counts as you go to make sure you're on track. At some point, you'll have enough stitches to ditch the magic loop and simply knit this in the round. So when your stitches get super crowded on the needle, you can spread them out around your circular needle and you'll be good to go knitting this in the round. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna meet you back here for the petal portion of the pattern.